Now in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a connection in PHP with my SQL. Okay. So let's go. First, here you can see I have created a simple template in offline. If I run this, our folder, your gem folder, you can see htdocs, our folder, browser just start apache and mysql okay and write localhost slash your folder name you can see it's very simple template just header and footer and here you can see a blank body i have created a template in offline i mean this template in offline you can see index file and header footer okay you can see in our header just style sheet link up and you can see h2 i have write my sql database connection in php my sql procedural method okay and footer you can see just a simple footer i hope you can easily create this template or more eye catchy template you can create so i don't waste your time and for that i have created this template in offline however so today in this tutorial i am going to show you my sql procedural method okay there are three basics way of working with php and my sql okay my sqli procedural method my sqli oop object oriented programming method and pdo php data objects okay i will show you three parts step by step and here you can see I have write PHP MySQL and here I have write MySQL I. I for improved. I this I extension for improved stands. Okay. Earlier version of PHP used MySQL extension, but it was deprecated. I mean this MySQL extension was deprecated from 2012. And now upper version of PHP used MySQL I okay this i just for improved okay my sqli i i for improved however let's go to see live the first method my sqli procedural method in our notepad plus plus here you can see i have just include my header and footer so between area of header and footer i can write a php block php for create a connection you need to create a database first so just go to localhost i am showing you in my gem you can use gem or wamp that you use both are same just go php my admin here you can see database if you don't know please check my previous tutorial in my channel youtube.com slash w coder zone you can see if i write youtube.com slash w coder zone you will get our channel and to go to the playlist you can see php my admin tutorial for beginners okay here i have discussed fully for beginners about php my admin only three parts within half an hour okay so here i am just creating a database write your database name suppose i write my sql underscore or i can write my underscore db okay my db just create so just copy the database name for creating a connection you need to four things first suppose i write variable host or i can write server okay server name variable server name here will be our server okay and second username username here will be our username and third password here will be our password and last is db or database i can write db name you can write anything as you wish i have declared this variable just as your as my wish okay 
you can write as you wish anything as you wish a server host uh, user or user name okay as you wish it's not mandatory issue and here first you can see i have write the server name our server name is you already know our server name is localhost you can see we are using localhost okay so here just write localhost don't put http just write localhost and then username where is your username you can see if you go to the server and to go to the user account you can see here our username is you can see username is root okay so just copy our username is root sorry not copy it copy paste sorry not copy it so just copy root and here just write root okay and password our database password is blank you can see password area our password is no password okay users no password no so here we can write is blank okay just keep blank and db name we have created our database and our database name is just go database and our database name is my db you can see my underscore db our database name so here our will be database name now it's okay and now for creating a connection just write in procedural method you can see first i am showing you the procedural method in procedural method it have a built-in method for creating a connection just write my sql i underscore c o n n e c t connect this method okay and in this method you need to pass this parameter okay first parameter is our server name just paste and then our username then paste this order of this variable is important okay especially in pdo when i will show you this pdo method this order of this sequence is important okay so remember that first your server name then user then password then your database name okay and then password and your database name okay pass and now you can this be this connection assign into another variable suppose my connect my connect equal to my connection okay and your connection is totally successful complete your connection so how to understand that your connection is successful for understanding your successful before if i refresh you can see you can see no output here but our connection is successful for understanding we can show a message a conditional logical okay suppose our connection is here if i write suppose exclamatory sign this means not not my connection this connection is not created okay i mean if any errors here then here will be print echo suppose i write connection fail okay else if our connection is successful then echo suppose i write connection successful okay suppose i write you can write anything as you wish just a simple message you can see connection successful that means we have that means we can understand our connection is successful okay also here you can write or if i or if i mistake anything suppose uh, username mistakes or wrote mistakes uh, okay anything suppose and if i refresh you can see a warning message showing and here printed connection fails i have right connection fails okay that means our connection is not created so i hope you understand how to create a connection also here your also here you can write in another modify way you can write when your connection or you can write suppose just control z you can write exit okay this is the best programming method when your connection will be lost i mean your connection will was not created successfully then print this message connection fails and program will be stopped here okay 
just exit method this is the php built-in method i hope you already know about that php has more than 1000 built-in method okay so just call the exit it will stop the program here don't run your program more also you can write here this way just die okay die here just write your message suppose i write connection fail okay and uh, put your also you can put here you can see our connection is successful if your connection is lost then showing this message also you can write here suppose just concat dot then my sq l i underscore c o n n e c t connect underscore e r r o r error okay this method it will returns you that which line is the appropriately lost your connection i mean where your connection is fails or where is your mistakes or errors occurred that lines what exactly returns that you wish if you don't like this don't record your connection will running successfully so i hope you understand that how to create a connection with mysql in procedural method next tutorial i will discuss about php mysql i op op i mean object oriented way okay